Hi, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and welcome to my kitchen. Today, we're gonna make crock pot spaghetti sauce. The best spaghetti sauce you'll ever make and your crock pot's gonna do all the work. Welcome to my kitchen. It's spaghetti night, you know, I talk about, uh, don't eat spaghetti every single week because we have delicious and easy recipes, but sometimes you're just craving for spaghetti, right? Forget the jar stuff. I'm going to show you how to make spaghetti sauce in your crock pot. You're going to come home. Dinner's going to be amazing. It's perfect to feed a crowd. It's perfect to freeze the leftovers. You're going to love this recipe. If you want the recipe, friends, I have a link for the full recipe in the description of this video. I'll also include a link to our Instant Pot version, so if you're in a hurry, you can make this in like 20 minutes. You can always go to eatingonadime.com, search Crock-Pot Spaghetti, and you're gonna find this recipe plus some other really delicious recipes. Okay, friends, let's get cooking. Okay, so already in my Crock-Pot, I have brown, my one pound of ground beef, and one pound of ground sausage. That is optional, friends. You can do both. Let me throw my onions so I can start heating up while we're chatting. Get this out of the way, because it's, it's all in my way. The hardest part about this recipe is opening up some stuff with a can opener. So if you can open up a can opener, or you can open up cans with a can opener, you can make this recipe, it's so simple. So I have a pound of ground beef and a pound of ground sausage in here. Now I'm using my digital slow cooker that you can actually saute in the pan. If you don't have that, it's not a problem. A traditional crock pot will work just fine. Just go ahead and brown it in the pan. You wanna make sure you drain off any grease. So before we hop on this video to save time, I browned it and I drained the grease, okay? Now I'm throwing in my onions. We're gonna start sauteing the onions in here while um, we're chatting it up. Let's chat about the sausage and the ground beef. Um, you're gonna use an Italian sausage that's in a tube that's ground sausage. You would do a mild or a spicy sausage. Both would work great. You could eliminate the sausage and just double your ground beef. You could do a turkey sausage. You could even do a sausage and a turkey. There's lots of options here to help you save money, okay? I got you. Now, you could double the sausage if you want to. I don't like it that way. I am not a huge sausage fan. I do like some ground sausage, but I just don't, it gets super greasy for me. So that's why we do one pound of ground beef and one pound of ground sausage. You get all the flavors of the ground sausage without all that extra fat and grease that tends to come with the ground sausage. Again, you could use a turkey ground sausage as well. Okay, so we have our onions, our beef, and our sausage going in here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our seasonings while we're waiting. We're gonna do some salt, half a teaspoon of salt. I'm doing, I'm almost out of salt, guys. I gotta, I need to get to the store. I'm doing pink Himalayan salt. Any kind of salt will do. We just do that for personal preference in my family. Um, any salt works great, okay? So we have salt and pepper. Now, I like to season the meat first before I throw in all the other stuff, but you do you. Honestly, it's a crock pot. Everything's gonna all come together, and so you're fine. Um, we do are gonna do some minced garlic, about a tablespoon of minced garlic. Now, since I love me some minced garlic, it's gonna be a heaping tablespoon. Who loves minced garlic? You can start to hear it sizzling. Okay, then we need, I'm gonna mix this around, some Italian seasoning. Italian seasoning is such, it's so great because it gives you all the flavors of the basil and everything that, oregano and everything that you already need in um, the spaghetti sauce without having to like do lots of measuring. And you know, I'm all about saving time in my kitchen and not spending so much time in my kitchen. So we're gonna do some Italian seasoning, just about a tablespoon. The last thing we're gonna add is some bay leaves. So I'm gonna do two bay leaves and that's just gonna bump up the flavor and give you that slow cooked um, spaghetti. 
spaghetti sauce that we're looking for. That one fell, it's okay. Now that we have those, we're gonna start adding all our tomatoes. We're doing a variety of tomatoes here to give us the perfect sauce flavor. So we're gonna start off with crushed tomatoes. Now this recipe does make quite a bit. It's making, I can't remember, so I have to look, eight servings, so it's gonna feed a crowd. But I, if I'm gonna make something that takes this much work of having to open all these cans, I'm gonna go ahead and make enough to last me because leftover spaghetti sauce, number one, it freezes great. Number two, it tastes even better at leftover. And number three, it is so easy to make leftovers from it. Your family won't even know. Some options would be lasagna, so a baked ziti, a, um, a soup, pepperoni pasta that you can use with your leftover spaghetti sauce. So these are crushed tomatoes. The recipe says four cans, but all I have is that all I could find at my local store was the bigger cans, which is like two cans in one. So I'm doing two. Hopefully that makes sense. Done. The other thing I'm going to throw in is tomato paste. Tomato paste really amps up the flavor in this tomato sauce, in this spaghetti sauce. I have tried making it without it. Didn't love it. Didn't love it. Something about this tomato paste, not only does it help thicken it, as you can see, if you've never cooked with tomato paste, we're going to throw in the whole can. Not only does it help thicken your spaghetti sauce to give you a consistency that you might get, at an Italian restaurant, you're also, the flavor is just intensified by this um, tomato paste. So I tend to have to use like a knife or if you have a mini spatula, it'll work to get it out. Okay, so now that's it, I'm gonna throw in my last two, which are going to be tomato sauce. So we have a nice balance. Oh, these have pop tops. Yay me. We have a nice balance of the crushed tomatoes, which adds texture. We have the tomato paste, which adds thickening and flavor. And then we have the top tomato sauce that's going to add the consistency that we really want in our restaurant quality spaghetti sauce. Okay, we're gonna do a quick mix. Now the only thing, we need a little bit of water. I like to throw in about a quarter cup of water or beef broth to get it to the right consistency that you need. Totally optional though. And then the very last thing we're gonna throw in, friends, move that out of the way, is we need sugar. We're gonna throw in a tablespoon of sugar And what that does, it helps balance out the acidity in your spaghetti sauce. Friends, that's all you gotta do. All we're gonna do is walk away. Imagine throwing this in on the morning or on the weekend. Coming home, dinner's done. Sunday dinner? You can cook it on low or on high. Now remember I had this on the saute setting because we were browning that sausage beef and everything in there, so I'm going to turn that off, and I'm going to cook this on high. Done. Dinner's finished. All I gotta do is boil some pasta, and I'm gonna make me some garlic bread. Woo! We have a delicious recipe for homemade garlic bread. When I say homemade, I mean making garlic bread using a local French bread. It's amazing, it's the best buttery garlic bread. If you want that recipe, you can say, hey, can I have that buttery garlic bread? I'll leave the, um, you can say that below. I'm also gonna leave a link for that in the video as well. So, super simple and super easy. Guys, if you love these simple and easy recipes that we do here that are family friendly, you're going to love our easy cookbook bundle. If you have not gotten our cookbook bundle, you're missing out. It's 50 crockpot recipes and 50 desserts. It's 100 recipes for a super low price. I have a link for that in the description. 
Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you can see how easy it is to make spaghetti in your crock pot. Remember, you can get the full recipe below. The link is in the description, or just go to eatingonadime.com and search spaghetti. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family-friendly recipes. I'll see you next time. Bye, friends.